Hey guys, it's Ariel at Fineth. I thought I'd do a tour of what's going on in the spring here around my house. Let's start kind of over at this edge of the clearing. My lawn is getting green slowly. Uh, I've got a bunch of little flowers coming up. Recently planted some small uh, lilacs, a couple varieties. I love lilacs. My irises are coming up. Uh, daffodils have little buds that you can see there. I think they'll be open soon. More of those things on this side of the shed. You can see all the brush is growing out its leaves and some of that will be flowering soon. The flowers in my planters are filling in. I've got some more daffodils and such around my cold old oil tin that I found in the woods. The aspen trees have just really leafed out in the last couple days. Um, some of my things are super little, like here you can see my little tiny baby mint that's growing. This is going behind the house. And here you can see all the different little colored starts, if my cat's not in the way. Excuse me, buddy. Um, those are a mix of different lettuces. Um, most of the things in these are just flowers. My very first daffodils actually did open this morning. I've got pansies. They've gotten uh, below freezing several times, but that doesn't seem to hurt them. There's Wynn. Happy to say hi, I'm Manaphy. More flowers and such around this side. The chives look like they're about to bloom. These parsnips, the tall leafy greens there, made it through the winter. They look pretty right now. I might try to eat them after a while. Um, can continue along here. We've got several different kinds of thyme in this box that all came back from last winter. As we go out this direction, I did plant two grapevines last year that were theoretically supposed to survive in our climate, but this is what they look like right now. Very totally brittle. I don't think they're alive. I'm not going to touch them for a while just in case they grow back out from the root, but I think I might have lost them. Oh, I have little uh, violets blooming in the yard. My cherry tree is just opening its buds, you can see here. That definitely survived. Some of my other fruit trees for sure did, like this apple. You can see its little leaves coming out there. Um, some like my plum over here. I haven't seen any signs of growth on him, so I don't know if he's made it or not. We'll give him a while. I got my frost covers put up on my whole garden in preparation for planting some more tender things. Um, of things that are less tender. My strawberries are kind of buried under this blanket and I haven't been in any hurry to let them out because I don't want them to bloom too early and freeze. But they're pushing their way through the straw anyway, as you can see in spots like there and there and over there. The rhubarb looks good. All four plants I planted survived. They're growing out nice and bushy. Can't wait till they get a little bigger so I can have some fresh rhubarb. Um, See here, you can't see much of the few other things that are planted with these covers on. I designed, I think, a better system this year for being able to take the covers on and off. Like when it rains, I would like them to be off, though some rain goes through, it blocks a lot of it. And when it's going to be cold, I want them on. So, if I can demonstrate this one-handed, what I have to do now to uh, move one is I've got most of the time it's just one, but for some reason that one I had two fabric pins on that end. This whole edge that you can see wrapped up has a PVC pipe in it. And if I pull the pins on this end, then I can go back to the middle. I have to see if I can hold the camera far enough out that you can see. And roll this up. The PVC lets me pick up the whole edge kind of at once and roll it up over the hoops here that are holding them. It takes a little bit. It's far less awkward when you're not trying to hold a camera at the same time. Um, but you get the idea. 
I'm gonna quit rolling like I normally would and just slide it off the far end there. Usually I would roll it the whole way up so that it's nice and neat and tidy. This is my garlic. These were up, uh, hey there Manipi. These were up through the snow, looking healthy. I've got five different varieties of garlic. I've got a chart where I wrote down what's what, so I will be able to figure out if one produced better here than the others. So I didn't roll this whole end off. The whole way to this end. I love garlic, it's hard to have too much garlic, plus it keeps pretty well. On this side, harder to see, but right here beside the cat, you can see little baby onions coming through the straw. There's a whole bunch of them. This far end has elephant garlic. Big, chunky, fat sprouts coming up. We'll see how that does. I'm not sure our climate has quite a long enough growing season. And other than that, I'm not going to try to roll these all up one-handed. Um, I've got a few cabbage and kale and broccoli and cauliflower sprouts starting underneath these covers. I've got more that should be ready to go outside soon. I'm definitely trying the Ruth Stout method of gardening with mulching with hay. They're hard to see here, but I did plant some little beets. They're kind of tucked the whole way down into the straw, so there shouldn't be very many weeds. My cat does follow me around like he's a puppy dog. Um, but hopefully that should keep the soil moist. If you look under there and reach into the soil, right now it's very soft, full of earthworms, loose, it just it feels great. Um, so I'll see if I can get away with planting everything through the soil. Over here I've got some red beets going. You can kind of see the little red leaves. Again, they're barely tall enough to stick out of the mulch. Last fall when I, um, there you can see what the covers look like if you roll them the whole way up. Um, and they're ready to unroll back over the frames if I need them to. Um, last fall I'd covered all these beds that I made with the wood chip pads in between with a foot or more of straw. Now it's significantly less than that as it's compacted over the winter. Let's see if I pull this up here, where I get to dirt. I get to dirt about there. And well, there's still some straw, actually a little deeper. Sorry, this is hard to do with one hand, but uh, oh, there's still straw. I guess it goes deeper on this end than I thought. But very soft dirt has hay or straw composting into it. Like I said, in other spots I've dug into, I do have a lot of earthworms. Pretty excited to see what I get off the garden this year. There's another tree that came down. I'll split for firewood, probably for my stove, uh, for my outside um, fire pit. There's my current pile of firewood left from last summer for my fire pit. This is all set up. Had a couple bonfires and friends over and cooked dinner outside a few times. That's my little baby grill. That whole setup. And that's the hallway around. So that's what's going on at the tiny house right at the moment.